Hey guys, welcome back to Blasphemous. We are here in Hondo, and we're going to be exploring uh, the eastern side of this area. Uh, we do have these bells. We need to find a bell ringer to stop them from uh, ringing, and they do do damage if you get close to them. Now let's take out the enemies here, and pick up the first collectible. Uh, the Scapula of Carlos, the Executioner. His hatred for people was as great as his love for animals. When he was ordered to execute a dog that had bitten a bishop, Carlos refused for the first and last time. Okay, let's continue down. Uh, we're going to take out the bell ringer here. Heading up this wall and pulling the lever that's going to start the platform moving up above. So, just riding the uh, slow platform over. Um, heading up here as well, uh, and then across to the left. Um, just dropping down, watching out for the bells, taking out another one of these enemies. Okay, let's take out the bell ringer there. Now we can't head across to the right because that platform's not moving, so instead I'm just going to make my way across these ladders uh, and we see the first shrine up here. So let's climb up, uh, activate the shrine, and then head down on the other side. Um, just dropping down here. Hitting that bell and just going to activate this gate. We don't want to fall onto those spikes. That would be instant death. Um, so hitting that bell as well, opening the next gate and then uh, heading on through. Uh, quick look at the map. Yeah, I do want to activate this um, uh, this shortcut here. So let's just climb up and uh, pull the lever, get that platform moving, uh, and then we're going to head down. Quick look at the map and see where we are. So in this area we have uh, a statue and a central bell. Uh, we need to break the chains on both sides of this uh, area. There's one over there to the, uh, the left, one to the right. We'll start with the right side because there's a little area that I want to explore, uh, a little side area. Um, so we can't get down there yet. We need to activate that shortcut. So let's just continue on down. Nope, got too close there. Okay, let's wait for that uh, to reappear. Now these big giants will knock you off the walls um, if you're trying to hang on to them when they smash into the other side wall there. Let's take a few of them out. Just for the air. Oops, I slipped down there. I don't know why I slipped. dropping down, um, and I do want to drop down on the left side here, just for this um, collectible. Uh, so let's grab the vertebra of Linquist the Forger. Wherever a bell rings in Custodia, its sound owes its existence to Linquist. This Forger never saw his bizarre magnum opus called, Yonjo, uh, called Hondo completed. So he must have been the one who designed those bells. Um, now that we have that, let's uh, head up here.
Climbing up. I'm gonna ignore him. Oh. Um, and I will climb over here. And we're gonna break the first chain. As I said, there are two chains that we need to break. Uh, that's the first one. And uh, now that we've done that, I'm going to continue over this way and um, explore a side area. Uh, let's activate this first of all. And I need to make my way through this uh, dangerous cavern. Looking across here. Let's take that bird out. Um, the spikes are instant death. Okay. Whew. It's uh, very dangerous. Very dangerous here. Moving across. Oops, missed. Let's just take this bird out so I don't have to worry about it. I can probably make that jump, but I will wait for this platform just uh, in case. There we go. Uh, climbing up here and then grabbing the item from the hand of this lady. Heart of the Holy Purge. Sword core blessed with fervent prayers can be inserted into Mia Culpa. Increases the tears of atonement reaped, but prevents the use of bile flasks. Uh, the legend of Mia Culpa, the Sword of Guild. It is said that this stone statue covered with petals was once a young woman who, tormented by a deep feeling of guilt, struck her chest with the figure of her father, asking him to be punished. The miracle manifested itself in the figure of the father, emerging from her a wide uh, and long edge, a great root of sword, which pierced her guilty heart to later transform her body into stone. That sword was called Mia Culpa, in allusion to the last words of the young woman. Okay, um, so I'm going to be dropping down and continue across to the right. Uh, the little item here, so let's pick this up. Uh, Quicksilver, a sphere of liquid silver touched by the miracle brought to custodia by alchemists from distant lands back when the roads were still open and the wagons left furrows in the mud. In the right hands, its latent healing powers could be revived, but alas, the art of alchemy was lost many eons ago. It emerges from the pores of the earth from between the flagstones. It is the silver of the ornaments, desperate to flee, to escape from them and turn from their sanctity. It detaches itself, it slips away, leaving the figures naked of its embrace, leaving the works of art orphans of brightness. It leaks through the hides under our feet, only to then sprout again free of impurity. It is your choice, my son, to pick them up or to leave them, but beware of the purpose you put them to. So we're going to use this later on. Um, for now, we are moving on into a little side area. I think this was part of the DLC, uh, the Echoes of Salt. There's a shrine here which I'm not going to activate. Um, because I don't want to teleport back there later on. Um, instead of taking out the wraiths, um, there is a path down, but we're going to go up first of all and activate a shortcut. It's just... Um, careful of these blue fireballs because they do do a lot of damage um, I was just saying be careful of them the more I try to avoid them the more I get hit um, so let's jump over here and do a little extra extra um, air, air jump here Grab onto this ledge. Um, so you, you do that little air dash by uh, air, air, um, jump by using attack and then dodge at the same time. Uh, we've picked up the fire enclosed in the navel, a glossy metal which holds a wildfire of the purest of whites. Jewels like this used to be hung from the mainmast to capture the bright lights that appear on the high seas. It aids the connection with the miracle, accelerating the use of the prayers. A livid fire arose from the top of the mast, a tongue of fire, sometimes white, sometimes blue, dancing wildly and seeming not to diminish at all despite the terrible storm that fell upon us. It was the touch of the Father's finger pointing down from on high to our boat. The furious light opened up a path through the night and guided us through the storm. Um, yeah, so just doing uh, a dodge and uh, swipe attack will give you an extra little um, jump, which you need to pick up that item. We're going to head up here.
probably shouldn't have left that one down below, but uh, I will deal with that on the way back. Uh, for now, let's just uh, jump over here. Continue up, and we're going to break this wall to um, open up access back to the mountains of the Endless Dusk. Okay, so that's it for the top path. Um, it's going to be interesting getting down here with that creature. Okay, there we go. So, uh, back to here, we're taking the ladder down. Um, these ones I might try to ignore. Um, this one as well, I don't need to kill. There is a, uh, a gate uh, to the right, but we can't open it from here. And into this room we find a corpse beneath the earth, the paths are misleading. This is the lie that haunts these tunnels, the howl of the wind and the roar of the waves can be heard and yet there is no wind or sea. Not even the blue flame atop the masts burns our hands. Okay. Um, so just dropping down here. Um, dropping all the way down here, we need to head up to the top right to hit the mechanism to open the gate. So, this way, this way. Oh, I, how did I miss that? Okay, got it that time. Uh, let's head through to the right. And uh, heading to the right first, we're going to find the, uh, the fountain, um, just to restore my health. Because I'm not stopping at the shrines here, I do want to get full health. Um, luckily those wraiths don't seem to do too much damage. Uh, I don't think there's any items here. I can just ignore him for now. Uh, let's continue over to the right. And then up and uh, back across to the left for another item. So once again we need to do this um, little air jump um, to make it over to this ledge uh, where we find the scale of burnished alabaster. A fragment of a real scale and hard as stone its whiteness is so pure that it glows brightly under the, uh, the palest of lights especially when danger approaches. The one who wears it, its lunar light allows the penitent one to block attacks from behind. Captain, we've been in this black fog for what we now believe to be five days. Nothing moves, nothing lives, nothing breathes here. All is echoes and shadows, not even the boat creaks or sways on these oily black waters, and nor is there any sign of the serpent. We feel as if we are slowly sinking, for the reflection of our tired and emaciated faces on the water's surface seems with each passing moment to be ever closer. This will no doubt be our grave. There is no way back. We pray that this message in a bottle reaches you. It has been an honor to serve under you. May the sea have mercy on us. Okay, so I don't think we can jump across. Oh, maybe we can jump across to that top ledge. Uh, anyway, I'm just making my way down on the, uh, the lower path here up to the blood sand and um, just jumping across, heading through to the next area, dropping down and across to the right. Um, this is a fairly small area. We're just passing through the desecrated cistern, which is uh, up above us there. Uh, but back to the uh, Echoes of Salt here. To the other side, let's take out the, um, uh, the wraiths here. Dodging past. 
Dodging past these blue fireballs. Um, so we're going to see some of those boats. Well, we already see a little boat there. We're going to see some larger boats in a second. Um, I think first I want to go up here. Uh, there is another shrine, uh, which once again I'm not going to activate, but I will open up this room here for the teleporter. Uh, I won't use that either, uh, but that is uh, does give us fast travel to and from this location. Quick look at the map to see where it is. And we are almost finished with this small area. Um, oops, wrong button. Chopping down. Um, across to the right. In the morning and havoc. Um, now these zombie sailors are quite dangerous. They do do a lot of damage and they do continually respawn. So I don't really want to get hit by them. And I don't think you get further by killing them either. Um, over here to the far right, we've got a golden chest. Let's open it. Now uh, inside we do find a prayer. The mirror brace of the return to port. A festive song that was used to welcome back sailors who, having been left for dead and drowned in the cold water, somehow managed to make it back to shore. Invoking it will transport you to the last prayer due in which you prayed. Uh, Lady of the Blue Light, cast out the shadows from my corner. Take away the darkness from my looking glass where the light has died. Lady, bring us warmth with your lamp or the sun. Take away the cold, take away the ice from this sea of pain. Uh, okay, so I'm going to activate that. And um, you can actually, well, you can, I guess you can return to menu and uh, restart to end up back at the previous shrine. But let's use the prayer. Um, looks like I will need to uh, injure myself to get some more fervor. So let's do that. Uh, and then let's cast the prayer. Find ourselves back at the shrine, and we have explored all of the um, uh, the eastern section of Hondo. Accumulation of guilt. When the penitent one dies, erring in his peasants. Okay, so that's if we die, we do lose um, um, a part of ourselves that we need to go and reclaim, or go to one of the statues and uh, pay to have that reclaimed. Um, yeah, so we've uh, explored the uh, the eastern section, destroyed the first statue, and we'll look at the. Um, the western section section next time and uh, destroy the second statue that's all for now thanks for watching see you all again soon for more blasphemous